Hey everybody, Crow here. Uh, just having a little lazy night. Just gonna play some Shadowgate. Uh, there's actually a couple reasons I'm doing this. One is to stream, of course, for your entertainment. Um, and then also because I need to take some notes for a completely separate project I'm working on. Um, also, uh, and I'm still trying to figure this out. Uh, the chat looks a little squished. Um, still trying to figure that out. Uh, Restream has a new desktop app for chat, and I'm not sure how to make it not look squished on my stream layout. Um, yeah. Like, the only way I can really do it is to, like, really stretch it out, but even then, it's, like, weird. The settings from what I can see are uh, incredibly bare bones. Like, th this should not have been released yet. Um, yeah. Should not have been released yet because there's no, uh, like I can scale stuff on the app itself, but as far as like, separate scaling for, like, fonts and unsquishing, like, my name from what's being said, or anybody's name from what's being said, I don't know how to do that. There doesn't seem to be a setting for that at the moment. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'm trying, but uh, it's not working very well. I may have to get Arlen in here to work on this with me, but he is not answering me on Discord right now. But uh, speaking of Discord, if anybody is on Discord and wants to join in, I am in the general chat. Uh, so hop on in. Say hello. And all that kind of stuff. Um... So yeah, we're gonna have to get some kinks worked out with the uh, with the chat being shown on stream. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, we'll do our best. Anyway, on to the game. You didn't come here to listen to me ramble. You came here to watch me play a game. So I believe I have played this before on uh, I think on my personal channel. It's been a long time. I couldn't find a card for it, so I don't know if I deleted it or not. I don't know, but, uh, so yeah, this is the 8-Bit Adventure Anthology on PS4, and what's neat is I don't have to just use the D-pad, I can use the analog stick, and I can use the touchpad in the middle, um, which if it was bigger, that would be very cool for, for using. I'm just going to use the, uh, Probably just the D-pad and the uh, thumbstick. The last thing that you remember is standing before the wizard Lachmir as he waved his hands. Now you find yourself staring at an entryway which lies at the edge of a forest. The druid's last words ring in your ears. Within the castle Shadowgate lies your quest. The dreaded warlock lord will use his black magic. Why is it gonna be black magic? Wow. Use his black magic to raise the behemoth from the dark depths. As opposed to the light depths. The combination of his evil art and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. Only you can prevent forest fires, and only you can stop the evil one from darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. 
gritting your teeth, you swear by your god's name that you will destroy the Warlock Lord. Alright. The sensitivity on the analog stick is really loose. So... As if by magic, the skull rises. Probably actually just gonna stick with the D pad. <laughs> the key one is in hand. Just gonna be wasting your time. Alright, well, let's use it. Then. What do you want to use this on? Didn't need to use the key on that. So I'd be wasting my time. It's the door leading into the castle shadow gate. Oh no, spooky scary eyes. <clears throat> that pitiful wizard, Lachmere, was a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. You will surely regret it for only... For the only thing for you here is a horrible death. yawning. The sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. Well, first things first. These torches are important. We're gonna take the torches. You can't take it. Door's locked. Okay, so this is... Back Click! The key worked. It unlocked the door. I'm going to be stopping every so often because, like I said, I've got to take notes for a separate project I'm working on. What is that project, you ask? Said no one. It's a project. I don't know who's actually watching this, so... I don't want to spoil anything for them right now, or give them hints. So bear with me just a moment. It'd be a lot more engaging if I had somebody to talk to. <laughs> I have no idea what code he's seem uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. So, more notes. be a lot of pausing and note taking. Sorry, guys. It's just how it is tonight. The torch is in hand. So yeah, I'm not... See, I used to be able to beat this game in about a half an hour, but uh, tonight is not going to be one of those uh, speedy run throughs. Alright, we found a key inside the book. So... We're going to save really quick. I'm going to show you guys what happens if we try to take the book. When you remove the book from its pedestal, the floor collapses and you fall to your death. It's 
sad thing that your adventures have to end, <clears throat> have ended here, not have to end. Okay, so yeah, we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to take the book. There's a reason this torch is counted as a separate torch. The sword couldn't be taken. I don't know why the sword has to be in hand. Alright, so. Since I'm by myself, you guys don't get to choose which way I go first. You're not by yourself, you little stupid bitch! Alright, fucker, which way are we going? <laughs> uh, okay, so what are our choices? Fucker. Um. <laughs> Okay, so there's the corridor winds off to the right, but I okay. also just revealed a secret passage straight ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, is that that little tiny little crystal-looking slot right there? Yeah, the, it probably turned black by now because I pushed. It basically it was like a really obvious stone that was in a hole. Uh, what's that thing to the left? There's like a random book. Uh, that is a hollowed out book that we found a key in. Um, I already revealed it to be a trap. Oh, it's already a trap. Okay. Yeah. So um... basically, if you take, if you try and take the book, um, the fall, it, it's actually like a switch and the floor opens up beneath you and you just fall to okay. your Okay. Uh, first things first, uh, turn your game down. Turn my game down. It is loud. Good, sir. Is it? All right. Hold on. Uh, I'm perfect. Uh, if you can raise yourself up a little bit up and then turn the game down uh, like about maybe two to three decibels, it'll be good. I'm already at max volume. I just turned the game down, so let me know how it is. Well, James, you're on OBS Studio. You can raise that higher. Can I? Yes. If you go to Advanced Audio Properties, you can up the percentage. Ah, yes, I can. See what happens when you have someone who knows editing and just OBS in general. Uh, also, how's the, how's the game, by the way, now? I will find out in just a second. Uh, higher. Turn the game up higher? Yes, you, you turned it down way too low. <laughs> okay. Uh, how am I and how is the game now? Well, let's find that out. <clears throat> if you turn me down a tad, everything's perfect. Okay. All right. Also, um, I know the chat kind of looks like shit on the layout. Um, well, first off, uh, chat's not working, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you need to do something about that, bud. I don't use the OBS plugin. I know it's the new restream chat thing. I know. Chat I don't. I don't use that. For mine, I literally just get on the OBS Studio. Oh, OBS Studio, sorry. I get the Restream chat window. I copy the URL from that, and then I do it. Ah. Uh, see, this is the desktop app, so I don't have a URL for it. It should come with a URL in the settings. Well, yeah, for embedding it. That's what I was using. Huh. Well, then use that. Because that's, that's what I do. 
all the time. Also, James, uh, how did my mic my microphone sound? I changed some stuff. You sound a lot better. Thank you. And now I can do voice stuff. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So if I <laughs> hold up, if I if I really want, wanted to be in the illusion of this hallway we're in, I could be in a fucking echoey chamber. You could, but please don't do that because that's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So hopefully the chat's working now, but the problem is everything looks like squished on the layout, and I don't know how to fix that. Uh, you can fix it on the restream settings itself. See, I look for settings like that, and it's... God, that actually looks worse now. It Ugh. looks so bad. <laughs> I know. Like... Uh, okay, James, here's another, here's another thing you can do. You can take out the YouTube chat, go, go to pop out chat, window capture it, and then uh, uh, crop and pad it. That way it looks just, just like the regular chat box and not like the the whole URL and everything like that. And then put it in there and then just squeeze it in. And you can do it the exact same that way as well. Yeah, I just... I mean, oh fuck. Nobody watches me on Twitch anymore anyway. Well, Twitch is kind of dying, so... Yeah. All right, hold on. <laughs> like, it's, it's literally dying to the point to where Ninja left Twitch. <laughs> And is now going, or is now ex exclusively going to be streaming to Mixer. Mm-hmm. I don't um, know why he decided to do that. Do uh, I have to go to our dashboard to pop that out, or can I just go to our channel? You can go over to uh, to the video that's live right now. You go to the very top right, uh, where it has like the three dots going down. Hit pop out chat. Now, when you do this, it's going to state that nothing is seen here. We we, uh, we popped out uh, in the actual video itself, and you'll have another window. You're going to then window capture that, uh, crop and pad it. That way, it's only the chat box and not like the like your name and say something. You're going to crop that all out and then put it in there instead. Don't, Don't fuck, fuck up. up. You're having entirely too much fun with that. Mm-hmm. I love this mixer, dude. I legit love this mixer. Oh, why are you in white mode, dude? Put I that to black. The pop-out's on black. Why is the thing white? I don't know. Oh, I know why. <laughs> why? Uh, filters. Ah. You may have filters on, bud. Oh, yeah, it's chroma keyed. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, turn that down. I turn it off. Yeah, I just turned it off. What else is there? It's that's still it. light. That's it. That's all that's there. That is literally the only filter I had on. Uh, okay, then what you're going to do is get rid of the say something and crop that in as well. Like, literally just the part that... Is, is white or in your case gray and not light gray so I got me I got me coffee because I haven't had coffee in a good month I can't move it behind the thing it just gets hidden now James there's there, you can go to a filter and crop that ah okay that's uh, what I mean I'm sorry okay. uh, uh, right click filter uh, crop slash pad and then you're gonna go over to down, or is it, is it says bottom or down, you're gonna raise that up. I can't give you a, a, a specific thing for that. You're just gonna have to raise it yourself. Now, because it's OBS, you can use literally the arrow key and do it and hold it down. Ah, nice. Unlike in fucking studio, Whoa, 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 way too far. <laughs> way too far. What? Back I just wanted down. to. No, I just wanted to get rid of the whole thing. Jesus Christ. Okay. Where it's like. So you have it on a dark mode, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. You know that part where it's like a dark gray and then the light gray? Yeah. Get rid of the light gray at the bottom.
Okay. Going... Uh, one more. Perfect. And then you're going to shift and uh, shift uh, uh, and drag the middle down. That there you go. Yep. Okay. That should perfect. Be that looks better. Now if I just get it to not be white, there's got to be a way. Uh. Out. I can find out for you. Yeah, please do. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I'm gonna. You wanted me to go through the the little secret passage, right? No, I wanted you to go over to the right. I'm sorry. To the right. Okay. To the right. Yes. I meant to say to the right. Oh, where's my pen? Okay. The stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. It's rather assuming. Right. Yeah. Right. What the fuck? Okay. I'm okay. gonna uh, add to my map. A new window captured that, right? Uh, I embedded the URL, actually. That's your problem. Ah. <laughs> that, that, that right there is the problem. You have well, to window capture it. Well, la -di da All right, hold on. I, I, I even told you the window capture and you still I, didn't listen. You know, I woke up from a nap like five hours ago and I'm still waking up. Are you still waking up, dude? Yeah. I don't know, it's, I had a weird, I don't really want to talk about it on stream, but I had a weird dream and it, like, not a bad one. Just one of those real, well, first it off. Was just, it was different. It was a what dream? I mean. Oh, uh, whatever uh everything's gone. Yeah, I know. Everything's gone. Yeah, I know. Give me a second. Okay, I, I, I didn't know. I'm trying to figure out which one of these fucking windows is my pop-out chat. If you literally, uh, like, hover over it, it should do it. This one, new. Huh, weird. Whoa! Okay, which one fucking is it? Got mine working. Because they're just... They're just labeled as, like... Windows internal dot composables, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck it is. It should be, uh, window... Chrome.exe, uh, YouTube.com slash live chat is pop out one at one and V equals M, like everything like that. Well, I'm not on Chrome. I'm on Firefox. And I don't have. Oh, well, then I, I, I can't help you then. Because I don't use shitty browsers. Uh, Firefox is not a shitty browser. Uh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where you're getting where the point of where it's not, but it absolutely is. Uh, James, just to save time, just keep it as the white. Yeah. I, no, oh, no. shit! Uh, this is interesting. Uh, get a free Fantasia with purchase of 60-day game time code for a limited time. Nice. I might do that. All right, there just we to, go. Just to save a Fantasia. Right. Okay, that should... Fit In case that. they ever make male Vieras, <laughs> which right. will never happen. <laughs> Right? Or at least a fucking female Hogarth, which I know that's not gonna happen either. Or however the fuck you pronounce it. Hrothgar. Hogarth, really? Yeah. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. Leave me alone. Hro Hrothgar, Cody. It's Hrothgar. Hrothgar. Yeah. Hrothgar. I, I mean, yeah, pretty much, considering they're like, <laughs> cat dudes. <laughs> Okay, so we're in a new hallway with three closed doors. Which way? You're gonna you're gonna tell us which way to go. Mm. Jordan, you you you're in you'll pick the bad help. time to do that, but okay. Okay, well Jordan can help too. I mean, he's not in the voice chat, but he's watching. Okay, that's that's always good to know. I mean, if Jordan was one of the cool kids, he could get in voice chat with us. Remind me of that one song. What one? There's a lot of them uh, out there, Cody. Uh, I will tell you in just a minute. I gotta look. I'll go like the song. Up. It's not a uh, pumped up kicks. It, it, it has like almost the exact same beat to that, but it's not that. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. It's called a. Uh, uh, 
Cool Kids by Echo Smith. Mm. Okay, never heard of it. It's a pretty good song, honestly. I like this song a lot. Okay, well, Jordan's not saying anything, so which way are we going, Cody? Well, let's see. We have a left door, a front door, and a right door. Yep. Pick number three, my lord. All right. Uh, left, right door, you said? Right door, yes. Okay. Number three. The door is open. Yes, it is. Um, also, uh, I, I just found this out today. Uh, there's a song at Walmart that's, that keeps fucking playing. Uh, I like the song. Didn't know what the fuck it was. Uh, turns out it's fucking Panic at the Disco's new fucking song. Hmm. I, I, I legit didn't know that they had a new fucking song. And I'm over here going like, whoa. And unfortunately, not really unfortunately, but shockingly, it's the first normal song by them. Hmm. Like the lead singer in the video is not dead or naked. <laughs> oh damn, my torch is already getting close to death. Let's pop out another torch. And then we're actually going to use the, oh wait, nope. Can't do that because that's water right now. Never mind. Okay, so we've got a skelly so, man holding a key in the middle of the water that we can't reach to because there is a shark. There's a shark. Where's a shark? I don't see uh, no fucking tail fin. It already it swam by. Oh, it already swam by. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but so, well, let's see what we got. Uh, can we use the sling to get the key? Uh, no, because it's not gonna reach. It's not gonna reach. Okay. Yeah. And I don't have anything uh, to launch from the sling anyway. Okay. And I'm guessing if we enter the water at any point, the, the shark's going to fucking murder us. Oh, yes. Okay. So he's just a hungry little shark. Yep. He's not a baby shark. Well, it'll be nice to know for him that it's uh, shark week. So Actually, given the size of this pool of water and the shark, it may actually be a baby shark. <laughs> that is very true. All right, so we'll just we'll go through the door. Water cascades over a subterranean cliff into a cool, clean stream. All right, so we've got some rocks on the ground. We have a sling, so maybe let's take some rocks. Can you put it with the sling? Well, uh, okay, well, okay, okay. So by sling, is it like a? Slingshot? It's well, kind of. It's more of or, a. Or is it one of those things to where like you fucking twirl with your hand, and you throw it in a direction, and it launches the fucking object? Yes. Okay. Awesome. I love those. <laughs> Legit. I wish Zelda had one of those. Right. <laughs> Just fucking. I mean, they kind of did with uh, the Oracle games, which was like the fucking uh, the uh, the uh, seed shooter, but it was not the same. Now we're behind the waterfall. It looks like there's a very obvious rock on the uh, wall there. Let's see if we can mm -hmm. open that. It won't open. Uh, can you use them to hit the rock? Honestly, it looks like a fucking like disgusting thing of black plague. It right. looks gross. It looks so gross. Right. Let's, let's take a look at it. That rock is quite loose, okay, so we can't open it. But you can make it fall down now. Maybe, it, yeah, maybe if we hit it, you hit the rock as hard as you can. POW! The loose rock falls down as if hinged to the wall. Right. Hey! Bag. There we go! So let's see, we don't necessarily need to take the bag, but let's see what's over it. Let's see what's in it. Yeah, let's see what this has. Three large jewels. Alright. Okay. We might have to take the bag. Well, no, we could just take the jewels or, out of the bag. Or is it one of those fucking traps where we take the bag and it's like fucking Indiana Jones style? Get the fuck out. <laughs> uh, no, this is this part's not a trap. Taking the bag just adds extra crap to our inventory that we don't need. Oh, okay. And we don't need the bag. We will, however, take those jewels. I mean, of course. Why not? Because they're freedom Ooh. jewels. They come in red, white, and blue. 
Yo, America. America. Fuck yeah. America. Fuck yeah. Coming again to save the motherfucking day, yeah. <laughs> so we're done in here. Yeah, but yeah, we're done. Alright, see there's a shark. Subterranean cavern has been carved by centuries of sub Oh, oh Se fuck with that. But fuck Se with that. Supernatural. Okay, so we're done in this room. Yes. Right? Alright, so straight ahead or left? Uh Snow White, so door number two. Straight ahead, then? Yeah. Alright, let's go straight ahead. Door is open. No shit. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, this long wait, long wait, wait. Hallway is lined on either side by half a dozen coffins. By coffins. Well, one coffin's open, unless that's not a coffin. Okay, so that's actually a doorway. The uh, coffin, yeah, yeah, that's a doorway. Okay. Uh, what about the coffin in the middle to the right? Middle right. The lid of the coffin is open. Okay, we have another bag. Okay, I took a wild guess on that. Huh? Open. I wonder what looks closer. <laughs> right. We have three copper coins. I don't think I need all of these, but I'm gonna take all three just to get so. You go right ahead. Here. I'm actually God. mapping this place out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, it's four reasons for a side project. Oh, is it? <coughs> yes. I also hate how I have to relearn Scholar now. <laughs> Scholar is so weird. I thought you were doing Black Mage. No. I'll learn that bullshit later. Black Mage is too complicated. Okay. All right. So what? Well, okay. It's what's not the... comp. Go for it. Sorry. Sorry. I was gonna ask you, what's the next coffin? The next coffin. Uh, I'm gonna say bottom left. Bottom left. It looks. Uh, I mean, it has some sludge on it. It looks fine. That's a banshee. As you open the tomb, a banshee flies out and emits an ear-shattering <laughs> scream. That is. That is the biggest pussy of a banshee I've ever fucking seen. You're all right, but it's very hard to hear. All right, so that didn't really hurt us. Uh, middle left. The lid of the coffin is open. This green slime is quite disgusting. All right, so we just walked oh. our path. Oh, great. Yeah. So. Let's go ahead and and that will someone us. just partied someone partied way too hard yeah. Jesus Christ wait a minute hey, hey James <laughs> is that you in that coffin no, no. <laughs> sometimes they just gotta go you know oh dude so do I man all right, so we've got... I don't think we can reach that far back right coffin now because of the slime. So uh -huh. we should be able to open... In fact, I'm pretty sure we can't open that anyway. If I remember correctly, that is a uh, just completely sealed shut by stone. Mm. So we'll open this one. And a mummy stands silently before you. Ah, oh, great. Fucking little bitch. This carefully embalmed six-footer stands straight and still. Okay, so it's not actually doing anything. No, it's not. It's just sitting there. Now, there is a bag on the ground. Yeah, well, I opened the bag. It had copper coins in it. Okay. <laughs> oh, goody. I get to go to my favorite, less favorite dungeon in this entire fucking game. This mummy looks kind of flammable, don't you think? Uh, yeah, uh, set that motherfucker out on fucking fire in K2. The mummy bursts into flames, leaving behind a scepter among the ashes. 
Alright, well we have the scepter now. The scepter is in hand. Okay, so since we blocked our path, we cannot go to that back door. So let's go back to the uh, three-door hallway. And we will check out the final door here. You enter a cold room. The stench of flesh and in decay pervades the small chamber. You begin to shiver. This room is really cold. Okay, so let's take these torches. These torches are good to have. Of course, like always. Alright, so we've got a door, we've got a pedestal, we've got a hatch on the floor, and we've got a little socket on the wall by the door. the pedestal. It's a large pedestal with iron trim. Alright. Uh, it's a small trap door made of polished metal. It's a small hole in the wall some three inches deep. Alright. Looks like we could put something in that hole. Probably. Let's try... One. Possibly one of the gems? Yeah, let's try... I can't remember if it's the white gem or the blue gem. I want to say uh, blue. Uh, I'm going to say blue, Tom. Blue? Let's try blue. The gem seems to fit, but nothing happens. Okay. Ah, so it's the red one, then. Let's try the red one. The gem seems to fit, but nothing happens. Okay, so it's the white gem. The gem fits perfectly in the hole. A small crystal sphere magically appears on the stand. Alright, so we've got a crystal sphere. The sphere's in hand. Let's check this thing out. Oops. God, so okay. This crystal sphere is as cold as ice. Ah! I bet we can do something with this. But first, let's light another fucking torch. About how fast these things go out. These these fucking torches don't last long for shit, huh? No, they don't. Alright, so let's go ahead and open the door. That uh, trap door is actually another instant death pit. Let me update my map here. All right, let's go through the door. Yeah, go right through it. <coughs> Fear grips you as you enter this hot room. All right, so we got some shit on the ground and some eyes in the background, and it's hot as fuck in here. Let's save. All right, so this is another fun little trap. We're going to start by taking the shield. Because Go for of that. It. You raise your shield just in time to block the dragon flame. Yeah, that's why we want to take that first. Otherwise, if we try to take anything else first, then uh, we become a very crispy critter. Ah! Torch. Yep. Like, uh, how crisp are we talking? Are we talking, like, say... Low to save the game, crispy. Oh, okay. Alright, so this can only block so many... Oh yeah, uh, I got my, uh, gilded armor, by the way. Oh, your gilded magic deck armor? Nice. Yeah! Congrats, sir. Yeah. Took me fucking long enough! I don't remember how many bursts of flame the shield can block until it needs to cool off, so I'm just going to save there. Okay, actually I don't think I need anything... Actually, let's take that bow. I might take that bow. Yeah, I think if I take one more thing, the shield overheats and I die. 
Oh, okay. So let's leave the room. Okay, so we have an ice cold sphere. Let's go back to the water and the shark. And let's get that key from the skelly man. I gotta say, if there's one thing I miss about Scholar, it's Bane. <coughs> I, I, bad, bad. I fucking hate Bane, dude. I, I hate I, I hate how Bane's no longer a thing for Scholars. Alright, we're gonna chuck that icy sphere into the water, and it turns the water to ice. Awesome. So now, we can take the key that the Skelly Man has. And we might want our sphere back. Possibly, I would. I would say. I mean, it's in the water. I mean, you never know. All right, we melted the ice. The sphere floated back up. And the water refroze. So let's go ahead and take our sphere back. Wait, wait. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Water doesn't freeze that goddamn quick. It doesn't thaw and then freeze that back quick. What? <laughs> it's magic. Bullshit! <laughs> Alright, so since we blocked our way with the slime, we're gonna have to find another way around, so let's check out this uh, secret passage. Maybe that leads around. As soon as you enter the room, you see an arrow on the front wall. Okay, and it's pointing to the left. So, let's actually, let's take... Oh, so I can use I wanted to take arrows in hand. I'm really gonna have to put it on my map and do the final version of this, but it's fine. Okay, so let's try and take these torches. You can't take it. I'll take this torch. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want an otter. Like in the game or in real life? Like real life. Just a snuggly little otter. <laughs> I mean, they are very cute. They are very adorable. I, I would never get a fucking ferret though. Alright, we found another secret door. Because ferrets are gross. Uh, I mean, they're cute. It, you have to get them descended, that's the thing. They are, they are, they smell like asshole. Yeah, that's why you <laughs> get them descended. Like, Jesus. Alright, we've got two bridges. Neither one go to Madison County, so. That's a movie reference for you, uh, younger kids. What is? I'm sorry. The Bridges of Madison County is a. Uh, I've heard the name. I've never seen the movie. I've actually never seen it either. All right, so we have two bridges, Cody. One looks like it's been beat to shit, and the other one actually looks hurt. Beat the shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't trust the other one. If, if this game has fucking logic, it's gonna be the one that's all beaten up is actually good. Are you sure? I'm pretty fucking positive on this. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yes, we just filming as my fucking final answer. All right, here we go across the beat bridge. Oh! As you reach the middle of the bridge, it collapses under your feet. The bridge won't hold you. You can't cross unless you lose some weight. It's a sad oh, thing nice. that your adventure has ended here. Oh, nice! Well, we, 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 we were close. Yeah, let's uh, let's come back to this. There is a way across that. There is a way across that. Okay, cool. I'm not stupid then. Yeah, we just don't have access to it now. What's this? A wraith is standing in your way, barring your path. 
Fucking Undertale. asshole! Right, this race is a bit. Like, wh what the fuck? Nice. Fucking Rafe. That actually kind of reminds me of, um... Uh, one of the places in Zork 1 where you have to, like, carry a candle and there's, like, wraiths all fucking around you. Ooh. Yeah, and, like, you, have to, you only get, like, three turns to do something, otherwise the wraiths will literally kill you and make you become one of them. I never figure out what to fucking do. That's, That's probably the... Let's see. I'm sure there's a way around it. It's funny oh, because this is there also is. I just I just never figured it out as a kid. <coughs> there's something out of and, the ordinary about this torch, but you can't put a finger on it. So there's something about this particular torch that we picked up oh, earlier that uh, might help us. Oh. The torch burns with a strange white flame. With a no, shout, no, no, you no, throw no, the no, flaming no, no. torch at it. With a blinding flash, the white flame engulfs the undead apparition. When you open your eyes again, the wraith is gone. Alright. Not how rapes work, but okay. I guess it's like a holy torch. I guess? Ah, cloak. You know what? Let's put that on. Gotta say, I actually miss playing Scholar. <laughs> All right, let's check out this door. What I don't miss is how they ruined its <laughs> fucking DPS rotation. Gotta say, I miss having my other dot and Bane. I absolutely miss that. Hello, Batman. Hello. I am Bane. The small stone yeah. chamber is lined on one side by two barred portals. And it kind of looks like there might be a secret door back there. Really? Let's see. You feel the ground shake as the rock moves slowly aside to reveal a passageway. Yep. That is definitely a secret door. All right, let's look nice! Let's see. It's a hemp of rope. Let's see. This sign equal word. Well, sign... it's a hemp of rope. Yeah, the translation wasn't, uh... A hemp of rope. That is literal ganja right there. Right, yeah. This is, this is a marijuana of rope. <laughs> this is one thing of ganja weed. Right. This sign reads Ebor. Chris, Ebor. is that a police? I'm calling the weed! 420, Ebor. what you're smoking? <laughs> Ebor, Ebor, Ebor. You got it, it seems to be some sort of magic word. Hey, we learned a spell. You learned one magic uh, spell. That, see, I was wondering what kind of bullshit your fucking title was. Right. <laughs> like, the fuck is e poor? There has to be, like, either an explanation to this or James on crack. <laughs> I'm over here like, what the fuck is he talking about? Well, there is definitely a, a madness to my method. Okay, can I open the scroll? Scroll one is open. Your hand begin your hands begin to sweat because of your extreme excitement. Bullshit, but go on. Five to find, three are one, one gives access, the bladed sun. The silver orb to banish below, the staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining to the golden blade, last to invoke the platinum orb. Okay, so it sounds like we got some shit to find. Sounds like it. Uh, okay, we're fine. Okay, so... Let's check out this doorway back here. The cold water... From the limestone grips on your neck, setting shivers down your spine. Hey, we got another, we got a hole in the floor here. Hole in the floor? This is a concave polygon. It seems to be, it seems to have been carefully carved into the stone. Okay, so let's see if one of our gems will fit there. Uh, 
dungeon. Okay, so let's do that. As soon as you place the blue gem in the hole, you hear the sound of grinding stone. The wall slowly rises to reveal a magical image of an old wizard. <coughs> Listen, warrior! The warlock lord can only be defeated by thy courage and the staff of ages. Remember, five to find, three for the staff, one to be the key, and one to be thy pathway. Have thy wits about thee, warrior. Fare thee well! Also, I'm kind of confused. Didn't you stream this before? I, I believe I did on my uh, personal channel. No, I thought it was on this channel. I thought so too, but I couldn't find it. Really? Yeah. So I think I did it on my uh, personal channel. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining or worrying about anything. I'm just asking. I don't remember you actually playing this. Or, I, I mean, I, I thought you played it on the actual channel rather than, like, hey. Oh, that was a fucking waste. Scroll 2 is an open. You read the scroll. The scroll reads, as the shadow of the wind thou shalt be. Humana. You learn one magic spell. As the spell was chanted, the scroll too quickly vanished. Alright, so we've got two spells now. Nice, dude! Okay, so... Cody. What's up, dude? You, you you and your timing tonight, dude. What's going on? What is, uh... What is E4 backwards? Rope. What's on the ground, Cody? Rope. <laughs> I'm over here, like, just sort of expecting you to be like, no, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's not fucking rope. It's e <laughs> There are many strange things in this world. <laughs> when you said the magic spell, the rope moved. e Having stretched up to the hole, the rope stops moving. <laughs> Alright, so now we're in another room. So, I'm... I... <laughs> I'm kind of pissed that even though you figured out the fucking actual name of the spell, it doesn't reverse itself. That kind of pisses me off. Right? Like, what the fuck? Okay, so uh, this this is actually the room that leads from the coffin room. So we have Humana, which backwards is on a moor. Well, not everything is going to be backwards. <laughs> <laughs> they just got a little uh, silly sorry, with I, this one. I, I'm on my third cup of coffee. I'm sorry. Oh, so that's what's wrong with you tonight. No, no. Today was just a really kind of mad day. Like my entire back is sore. All right, let's see. Uh, what we have. Nothing, nothing as bad as what Tuesday happened to me. Uh, I literally an entire box of bleach fell on my head, oh. and. Uh, yeah, one of them kind of just, like, hit the ground, went, and, uh, <coughs> hit me, hit me, almost hit me in the face. So I'm like, wow! <laughs> well. Yeah, so, fuck you, Walmart distribution. Right. Okay, so we have three mirrors and a hammer. Three mirrors? <laughs> Smash all of them. Well, which one are we smashing first? We are gonna... <laughs> We are going to be smashing the one that's a bitch. So number two. The middle one? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, okay James, just let you know this. If, if, if there's a one, two, three option and I say number two, it's going to be the middle. Okay. Bellowing just, like some just... Norse god, you smash the hammer into the mirror. <laughs> you shatter the mirror, revealing an iron door. Hey, good call, man. <laughs> Wait, what was that? what was that again? You hit it like a Norse god? Yeah, you know, like like Thor. Holy fucking shit! I wasn't expecting you to be like a Norse god. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That's another skill I miss of fucking. 
uh, scholar. I miss Miasma too, and having uh, Death Flare. I miss those too. Okay, so here's what would happen if we'd broken either of the other two games. Okay, what what would have happened? Okay, hold on, hold on let me guess. Uh, the Wraith would have been back like, hey, what's up, fucker? No. Uh, and, and, and number three, uh, your puddles of vomit from when you went to a Halloween party would have spewed out and be become alive and become a mutant. Also, no. No, okay. So if What's you up? if you break the mirror on the right... Wait. It, I, I, I was, it I, I have a suspicion. Doesn't one of them, like, you hit and it's, like, fucking rubber and it, like, makes your fucking arm jiggle instead? No. Um, breaking the mirror on the right actually uh, shreds you with shards of broken glass as they all come oh, at you. Beautiful! And breaking the mirror on the left actually opens a portal to deep space which sucks you out and kills you. So... <laughs> Both Dude, of the uh, that, both of the other mirrors are instant death. That that actually reminds me of uh, one of the um, the uh, the fail options for Zork the Grand Inquisitor, where uh, there's a part in the game where you're trying to sneak into the uh, or back or you're trying to sneak back into Port uh, Fuzel, but because of how of how the well you entered from was well guarded. You have to become totemized and then go into like a little hole. There's five options. I uh, I forgot which one which one one of them was. Uh, I think one of them is like you go to the island of mist, which is like a little Easter egg kind of funny. If like fuck you, uh, and you're like just stuck there. But one of them is like <laughs> it's like it sends you to a portal. You're in space and and the guy goes ah well fuck and then, like it cinches him. <laughs> What are you doing, Zork? And it's like, and it's like, uh, well, uh, within seconds you forget what air is, and uh, you can't breathe anymore. So it's just like, <laughs> nice. so we just put out some pretty hefty flames in this room. What's interesting is you can fuck yourself over if you decide to throw the torch onto the floor where the flames used to be. The flames roar back to life and kill you. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Fucking Christ! What's next? A fucking Gru? Right. Actually, are there are there Grus in this game? Uh, no, but there is a bridge troll. Ah, bridge troll! Are we about to see him? Yes, we are. We're, we're at a bridge, so that's why I was like, mm! <laughs> oh, yes. uh, how, much, how much experience do I get for doing? Okay, so let's this? try and go across. So there's the troll. As you step on the bridge, the troll appears and says, "This bridge is mine." It'll cost you a gold coin to cross. Well, well guess, what, uh, guess what we don't well, have? I'm, I'm a bit loud. What do you mean I'm a bit loud? I mean, it, it, it's Cody. Have you met him? Yeah, it is. It is me, Kuro. Uh, yeah, James, we'll, we'll have to uh, turn you up a little bit more, honestly. I now hear what Kuro is saying. Actually, I just turned you down, so let's see. Turn... You Actually, you know what? Fuck it, James. That actually works. Okay, so we Fuck actually it. don't have a... I need to go back and get something from the dragon room. From the dragon room? Yeah. I couldn't get it before because I took everything else and my shield was overheating, but it should be cool off now. Uh, hey, Kuro, quick question. If I, get, if, if, if I can figure it out, do you want to do an Ocarina of Time randomizer multi-world seed? Which essentially is a randomizer with two people. We basically play the same seat, and you and I, I can find your stuff, and uh, I can find I, I can find your stuff, and you can find my stuff in your world. Essentially, it's a co-op to help each other beat the game. Okay. Or now or uh or it can be like, hey, uh, Cody found Cody's hammer, or. Uh, Cody found Kuro's lawn shot. I sure you say Cody found Kuro's laundry. Speaking of which, I need to go check mine in there. Hey, man, uh, I found your shrooms. <laughs> you want to explain this shit? <laughs> Sounds interesting. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably post a, a video for you to kind of figure it out. 
If, if, no, if, I had, if I had the fucking Zelda would be a better option, but uh, she needs a better computer. Well, so she needs a good. She, she needs okay. First off, she needs a she, not even a better. She needs a fucking guide to her computer at this fucking point. For what she's wanting to do, yeah, god tier, please. Save. I would recommend my computer, but uh, also I, I love how you say bridge troll. The fucker's cut in half. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. We're just gonna throw a spear at him. It's fine. He's just part of the bridge at this point. Also, uh, James, I want I want your opinion on something. Uh, so we all know the Zelda series. Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> now let me get the name of the game real quick. Let me, uh, let me get the actual name for you real quick. Okay. Uh, who's the weirdest character in Zelda, do you think? Uh, there's only one right answer. Tingle? Yes. How would you feel if I played a game called Ripened Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love for the DS? See, I was gonna guess you were gonna say this fucking Rosie Pick Tingle the Rupee Pedophile <laughs> Land or whatever the fuck it is. That game is great. <laughs> okay, let's stab this thing so it's gonna get back up. Okay. Uh I don't think she plans on doing animation or modeling. I don't I don't know. I will be right back. I'm gonna go get my mom. Oh, oh! You mean freshly picked Tingle's ro rosy rupee land? Yeah, the <laughs> fucking weird ass rupee pedophile game. This game is great. This game is awesome. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, essentially, Kuro. Uh. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can find the fucking game again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Ripen Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love is basically <laughs> Tingle in the Wizard of Oz, and Tingle is Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> and from what I, from, like, from, from the two hours I've seen in this game, it looks fucking great. <laughs> Stream it. <laughs> I might as well, honestly. The game looks really goddamn funny. Like, the noises Tingle makes is actually really goddamn funny. No! Holy ba! Ho! Yeah. It's great. Like I, I, I should, you know, the game actually looks fucking fantastic. Oh, Kuro, I fucking love this toy, dude. Like, it's a little crazy how much I actually really like this toy a lot. Now, the only thing I need to fix is if I'm able to... or Okay, I need to contact my, my cousin who does sound production and video production as a major... Uh, but I need to figure out how not to, well, the, the thing I'm trying to figure out is how to raise. So in order for me to hear my, my games now, I, I basically have a left and right plug going through an aux cable that's in the back of my monitor and it goes to my mixer. And if I put, uh, and if I put my headphone audio jack in, I can hear the game through my headset, which is what I've been wanting to do for a, a fucking long time. 
what I need to figure out is if there's a way to one mute my voice from in the mixer and I will mute my voice. So I don't hear it as a replay in my head. Uh, number two is to figure out how to turn up the game audio without it crackling like a son of a bitch. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it. I just don't know what the way is. So, uh, but yeah, the new microphone's actually really nice. I love it. It's great. All I need to do now is just get a uh, an actual pop filter shield for it, and it'll be good. Well, okay, that's not true. The pop filter shield and then the uh, foam ball for it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I still think one of my favorite settings for this mixer is the um, pitch change. So if I, if I, so if I, if I ever want to piss off Jordan, I can just e easily just go. And it, it's great. <laughs> Daddy? Wait, I, I, I can do a demon voice too, my dude. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. And it's all on the board. Like, I don't have to put, like, go, go to like, an actual software and... Oh, can I what? Imitate the Snatcher? The fuck's the Snatcher? Kuro, you're going to have to describe what, what the Snatcher is. Oh, Snatcher from him. Uh... Let's find out if I'm able to actually. I would have to figure out his voice again. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Let me turn the crank on the well. There's a bucket. Well, Mr. Bucket, put your balls in my mouth. <laughs> I didn't have a fucking. <laughs> I mean, it in my mouth. God. You think you got you didn't have balls in your mouth? Oh yeah, thank God I didn't have ball. Hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Thank, thank God, God I didn't have fucking balls in my mouth. I'm gonna take that thing away from you. I swear to God. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> now it's that great. is creepy. Yes, thank you, Will. <laughs> I forgot I didn't check the thing. But okay, so I've got a gauntlet on and I put it on myself. I'm wearing a gauntlet and a cape now. What, what are you gonna do, do with the gauntlet, gauntlet Daddy? Daddy? Shove it up your ass if you don't turn that filter off. <laughs> I'm sorry, James. I love this date so much. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Like, okay, I swear to God, the next time I ever get, like, an actual, like, just, like, free check, I'm going to give you one of these and, like, the microphone I have. I have no idea where I'd even set that up at. Just somewhere near your desk. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we've got uh, three new doors. 
three new doors. Uh, can I go get a? Can I go? Oh, well, first off, before we choose, can I go get my cigarettes? Yes. Thank you, Alicia. Nice to only choose. Be right back. Okay. It's right up. Come on, you know. I have no idea what the hell he just said. Alright, well, while we're waiting, I'm gonna update my map here. And actually, Will, if you want to jump in and pick any doors at any point in time, you know, feel free. Uh, we're also in voice chat if you want to jump in, too. I don't know if you're busy doing stuff right now or not, but there you go. If he dies, you're going to have to turn the fuck up. Right. Because Will's the quietest son of a bitch <coughs> in the world. Yeah. There is that. Yep. Ah, uh, door number two, my lord. All right. I just want to get the seventy-two. I actually can't wait to, to level seventy-eight as a uh, scholar. It smells like a kennel in here, and there are no windows through which to circulate. Yo, who who let the pot in the house? <laughs> That's who? some nice kush. <laughs> Who let the pot out? Who, 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 who? No, no, it's puff, 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 pass. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Ah, holy water. I'll take that. Ah, uh, okay, Kuro, you actually just gave me an awesome idea to do. Uh. When I'm off stream, I will try your, my best to try and imitate Snatcher. So, uh, you gave me another reason to actually use the mixer. Which I'm, right. which I'm pretty sure that would just that I'm pretty sure that would just be the pitch change and. Or just a pitch change, but also just like set the thing to low and then mine halfway. Okay, so we got a fountain. Uh, what is that in the middle? Sputing water out? Uh, it looks like a fish. It looks like a fish. It reminds me of the subspecies uh, Pookie. Uh, yeah, the uh, subspecies Pookie Pookie's attack. Okay. Well, there was a flute on top of the fountain, and I'm gonna. It I'm literally gonna pisses water out of its ass. Gross. Yeah, at like jet stream force. All right, we got a flute in the ring in this room. Hey, there you go. Uh, what's the? Is it battles? Yes. Uh, I am going to do a dungeon. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I guess home minster switch. Switch. Neat. All right. We got a fleet and a ring. So let's back out of this room. So the water coming out of that fountain is actually not water. It is acid. Oh, nice! Yes, essentially yeah. water sports puke puke. Yeah. Essentially. So if you're not wearing the gauntlet, then that's a death trap. Prepare to get pissed on. All right, so you pick the last door, Cody. Uh, Will, we've already gone through the middle door in this hallway. Which doorway should we go through next? There's only one door to go through, and that's the that's the top door. There's no, there's two. But you there's... already went into the left in the middle. 
No, I only went into the middle. Mm. I haven't gone, so I haven't gone through the the one closest to us, and I haven't gone through the closed door yet. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, now, is there a doorway that can kill you? Uh, not a normal doorway, but yes. Uh, well said, closed door. Closed door it is. All right. Fucking Wraith pops out. What's up, motherfucker? It's like, oh, you throwing white torches at me, huh? Why's it gotta be a white torch? Why's, Why's it gotta, gotta be, be a white torch, torch huh? huh? You racist? You going, going to hell, hell boy? boy. I'll slap the shit out of you if I ever meet you in person. <laughs> All right, so we have new doors. Do it, bitch. And actually, let's take. We're gonna take the crest. I don't think I actually need the crest, so I probably didn't need to take that. Uh, mirror, maybe, yes. Okay. Um, we don't have any new keys. It's a lovely carpet on the floor, though. It'd be a shame if somebody burnt it. Wouldn't you say, Cody? Mm, yeah, I would. I, I would say so, yeah. The rug quickly catches on fire and burns away. A key can be seen underneath. Now, so you have water to... Oh, you do have water. Hey, you can use that water to cool down that key. Well, the cool thing is the key's not actually hot. Oh, well, that's a, that's a backwards bullshit. Yeah, well, the, the water item is actually holy water, and I need that for something else. The water is going to be H water. I don't know. God, they should have. fucking, fucking degenerates! Right. Okay, so uh, I don't remember which door this key works on. One. Yep. Okay, so I believe the other two are locked. So we'll just go through this door for right now. You have entered a small corridor. Two arched doorways wait patiently for you. I am running out of room on this paper. Okay, uh, Cody, it's gonna be your turn, so left or right? Ah, oh, well, what, well, what's forward? Uh, a dead end. Oh, is it? Okay, well, fuck. Uh, <sighs> door number two, my lord. So, right? Yes. No, I don't wanna take it, I don't want that. Alright. You're in a small throne room. A skeleton wearing a gold crown sits on a throne in front of you. And wielding a fucking halberd. Or halberd. Uh, take that fucker's crown. He's dead. He don't need it. As you're not doing anything, you're just sitting there. <laughs> well, no, I was updating my notes. Um, oh, okay. You know, I've never actually thought to try to take the crown or the halberd. You never thought to take the crown. Yeah, and all the years, just, in all the years just, I've tried to play this. Take that fucking crown. Let's see what happens, man. Let's Hopefully, he can. stabs you with that whole fucking halberd. All right. Let's see. Can <laughs> I, I, I really nope. hope. I can't take it. Oh, right. what a fucking bitch move. Oh, I can't take the uh, halberd either. Well, okay. Uh, what about the sword and shield to the left and right of him? Those are just emblems on the wall. Oh, fuck off. They're emblems. Oh, but you know what a king usually has? Uh, a sword. A scepter. <laughs> sure. That usually, that usually goes to a... Uh... A king, a yeah, priest. king, a kings. Priest, more mainly. Well, no, kings are also depicted holding scepters too. 
I've never seen a keen hold in a scepter. You never seen a deck of cards? Uh, before you should thought that was a staff. I mean, the scepter is basically a short staff. <laughs> ah, a ring shaped hole. I guess we should probably put the ring there. Uh, no. Probably the bone. I mean, if it was the bone, it'd be a bone shape. The ring True. fits perfectly. The throne magically rises, revealing a secret passageway. As it, as it very rudely lifts the king up high. <laughs> oh, the king's like, whoa, what the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> there we go. Now that'll approve. <laughs> okay, let's take these torches and just in time, because we are running out of light. <laughs> and let's light a torch up so we don't die. Because if your torch goes out, that's just an instant death. That's just instant death. Okay. Yep. It's kind of like in the the very original Zork, because you're underground. If you wander into dark areas, you know you get that message. It's pitch black. You're likely to be eaten by a group. I actually got lucky with that when I first played uh, Zork 1, where uh, I don't think I should pick up the torch, or I lit the torch, and I just walked through the dark room and I was fine. <laughs> nice. I'm okay. like, what fucking Gru? Fucking okay. pussy looking of a Gru. All right. Two doors. Which way should okay. we go? Uh, Will, it's your turn. Two doors. Well, uh, I'm guessing it's left and forward, correct? Yeah. Uh, my way is say fuck you and forward. Okay, Will, what do you think? <laughs> forward, forward as well. Alright, forward it is. <laughs> You've seen yourself get eaten by a group. On the opposite wall are a pair of stone beasts guarding a dark archway. Oh shit, wait, this is the fucking PS4 version? Wait, what? Yeah. This is the what? uh this is the uh eight bit adventures volume one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got uh, Shadowgate, Deja Vu, and Uninvited. Okay, so we have two more directions to go. Or we can leave. We've uh, also got a bunch of other doorways that we passed and didn't check out yet. Well, why don't we go back and enter the door towards the left and see what that takes us. First. Okay. Uh, in this hall, in, the, in this room right here? Well, yeah, the door to the left, yeah. Okay. Good thing I saved. Without thinking, you jump through the opening and immediately hear a loud click. Suddenly, the granite slab above you gives way and crushes you beneath it. It breaks every bone in your body. Oh, nice! It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's not go through there, but we're going to go back a little more. All right, hello, Your Majesty. Okay, so let's check out this way. From this windy ledge, you can get an idea of the size and strength of the castle. All right, let's see what this is. I don't think we have anything for it yet. This appears to be a mount of some sort, perhaps for a flat... Okay, well, we don't have anything that can go there. Oh, shit. Torches. All right. I mean, we, we got a bone. <sighs> Come on, I clicked on use. Just register, then I clicked that. Thank you. There we go. All right, so let's go down here. Lightning lights up the countryside as you stand on the lookout point. Okay, so we've got a bag. This canvas pouch looks to be quite light. Close inspection reveals some druidic script on it. And this, it's a part of gold. The leprechaun must have skipped town. Uh, Boy. But, hey, it's a Jordan. Jordan can now also be yours. Oh god, what's happening? Uh, so I'm letting you guys pick. Hello, uh, Hello Lonnie John. John. Oh my god, Cody, fucking <laughs> let the man explain what the hell is happening. Uh, Basically, when we come to 
when we come to multiple paths, I've been letting Kuro and Cody pick which uh, direction we go. Oh, all right. So we just got us some coins. We're going to leave this because this is a trap. If we try to take the uh, pot of gold, the balcony on that side actually gives out underneath us and it's instant death. Oh, so, fun. Yeah. So, oh, shit. I have to update my map here. Yeah, you should do that. Don't get lost, you fuck. So how about that monster hunter, Jordan? Holy shit. <laughs> did, did, did I miss something today? No, just god damn it. Oh, just how it's getting better and better. I know. The, go by. the weapons are getting better. They've listened to people. Dude, the weapons look beautiful gorgeous they do fucking an actual baryoth charge axe something that wasn't in generations hello <laughs> uh holy fucking shit oh by the way when it gets to like a month or something like that like i'm I, i'm basically gonna start a countdown <laughs> Dude, do it. Chat. Do it. Like every day, it. I'm gonna wake up, and be like, "Well, there's a, this number of days you until should, Iceborne drops." You should, you should start it right now, because we have a month. Oh, we only right. have like 36 days. I know. When we so hit, high. Like, when we hit 31 days, I'll start. Now, what we need to do, uh, we need to also make a, a Borderlands 3 chat and just do a countdown for that too. <laughs> We could have so many goddamn chats for this. No. Okay. We just need, like, maybe the general... I don't know where we put that, actually. I don't think we need to make new chats for it. That's just oh, silly. I wonder, if there... I wonder if there's countdown bots for Discord. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, God, I love the Final Fantasy memes right now. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> so what is happening in game? Uh, I just found some scrolls and a desk and a book I can't read and some glasses and a secret passage. How do I read? How do I shock web? I bet these are magic glasses. So it always sort of these. confused me. Like, oh, it's a book. I don't know how to read. I'm going to take the book anyway. Right? Okay. Wow, with these glasses you can understand and read what you could not before if only glasses in real life work that way. Dude, it'd be awesome. That's actually, uh, you know the, uh, the d d item, uh, Helm of Comprehend Languages? Yes, yes I do. I got the idea of reflavoring that to a pair of glasses. They're just glasses that let you understand any language. The light grows faint. The path winds round. Where life is lost, wisdom is found. The seed mm. of the dream, for the evil is free. Where the sword is hung, you must place the key. A bridge to from, amidst burning death, a demon to guard. Motari Rizeth. Hey, we got a new spell. Speaking of good stuff, uh, Jordan, pick up Kill a Kill. Holy fucking shit. Is it good? It's really good. I, I will consider it. I, I'm actually trying to save money, like, super hard so I can get a new phone. What's wrong with your phone? Everything. <laughs> what happened this time? Dude, it's an <laughs> S4. It's literally, like, six or seven years old by this point. It needs to be replaced. Are you going to be dumb and get the fucking fold? No. What kind of autistic moron do you take me for? <laughs> An autistic moron? <laughs> I actually legit might get the fold if, it, if it's any better. Don't. D don't. It's a gimmick phone. Don't buy it. It is, but hey, you know what? I'm going to try new things. Oh, yeah. Waste good point. The good point. You waste of grand. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the, my fucking Note 9's a grand, and it's a jack, jack fucking piece of shit. I also just need to get fucking get, get it, get, you know, just get it fixed. Cut to two days after Cody gets a fold. My fucking phone broke. 
What happened? No. I folded it wrong. <laughs> folded it the wrong way. <laughs> listen, I didn't there was a hinge. Listen. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't, I didn't really... <laughs> no, he bends it the other way. <laughs> no, I have two phones. <laughs> One for Jordan, one for me. Hey, Sharon is caring. The only problem is we have to be together for them to work. Shit! It's a match made in heaven. That's, That's not a screen, screen protector! <laughs> I literally thought the two of you were talking together at first. No. <laughs> it's just Cody. It's like, holy shit. shit, that was perfect. <laughs> like, fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, someone save us all, for the love of God. No one can save us. Good point, yeah. I am gonna save my game, though, speaking of saving. Speaking of the channel wise, I, I had ideas for. I have more ideas for the uh, uh, channel introduction thing. That was good. Is that right? The fuck? Yes, yes daddy, it is. is. Cody, I'm gonna oh, fucking right. come to your house and stab your soundboard. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Alright, calm down, Satan. Who the fuck Cody, you uh, Satan? <laughs> Cody, I'm gonna need you to take your tits. Okay. Give him some on, chai tea on, so they can on, calm the on. fuck down. Hold on, hold on. I got, okay, I got my tits. Okay. Now take some chai tea and pour them all over your tits so they can cool down. But what if I don't like chai tea? Is there an, uh, another Cody, option? Cody, <laughs> the point is you need to calm your tits, okay? Is there and another the option? Is no. there another option? I don't like chai tea. I don't even know where the fuck I can buy chai tea. Store. Literally any supermarket. <laughs> Jordan, it is your like you turn. You can probably get it at work. What's it is that? your turn. Do you want to, shall we take the top left door or the top right door? I'm feeling top left. Also, Jordan, don't fucking lie to yourself. You absolutely love this soundboard. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> also, Jordan, uh, should I absolutely get get the soundbite of the one animation that has the Raffalos going, I hear a hunter. Come on out, wussy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or or should I get the new one where the Raffalos is stuck in one of those like tire swings? And he's like, help! Can anyone hear me? I got my ass stuck in here. Help. I hate that I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy on Twitter, dude. That guy's awesome. Oh no, it's a fire, it's a hellhound. Did you do a die? Hey! You down there! Where are the cops? And I ordered you to pick us up. All right, so we got a hellhound, but we also have uh -huh. okay. we have holy water, or just water as the inventory. Calls don't, it. don't, don't kill the puppa! What the fuck's wrong with you? Well, it's either no, him or me, Cody, and I don't want to die. You, you. That's no. the obvious answer. Is you? It's a hellhound, Cody. It's still a puppa. Look at that innocent smile. It. Innocent smile, it's like baring its teeth, ready to fucking tear your ass open. It looks precious, look at but him. Ju just my ass, though. Just yeah, your just, ass, yeah. everything else is fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, it's a white. That, that, that fucking reminded me of the fucking, um. Oh god, what was it? It was the side eye and happiness skit where the husband like wakes up from his bed, goes upstairs, sees his wife cooking, and uh, his uh, the husband goes, "Man, hon, that smells great. What is it?" And the wife goes, "Oh, you know, just your lying, cheating ass." And it's like his actual ass <laughs> on a pot. He turns around and his ass is gone. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All right then. I fucking love that song. <laughs> My God. <laughs> the other one I love is like I think I think it's called gym class where um oh God it's like they um 
it's like four normal children and then one girl in a wheelchair and the coach is like the coach is like rebecca you're up next and the kids are laughing at her like no no and the girl's like no i got this the girl like badassly like hauls ass on the fucking wheelchair doing flips and shit like cr- like climbing ropes everything else it, it's, it's fucking a uh, fucking awesome scene and one of the kids is like oh yeah i'll beat that so it's like one step and the next thing he's in the hospital in a full body cast and he's, the doctor the doctor comes in and goes i'm sorry but you'll never walk again because you gotta have that music then. right we can't do right. anything with the wyvern right now what's up uh huh? I, I need an item what's up to kill it. i don't have that item. what's up you're oh, up Oh, he's on the phone, I guess. I thought he was talking about his No, I think he's talking about his mama. Okay. It appears to be a sphinx. It looks at you indifferently. Well, what is that? No. Look at me indifferently. I'll look at you indifferently, sir. That is your real name. Sir, I don't believe your name is sir. What is your name? And plus the cable I had for it. Well, first of all, I, I have two. I have a 120 volt and a 180, uh, sorry, 120 watt. Okay, are you talking about inside the house or? No, I'm fine. Okay. I have one. It's plugged into the wall. Powered by USB. It's not much, but I will drain it out though. Yeah, I got you, pop. Uh, up these stairs. Oh, that's hot. As you move, the Sphinx spoke. Who are you? No one may pass without my permission. <laughs> uh, well, uh, fuck your permission. To pass, you must answer a riddle. Yo, zombie, welcome to the stream, my dude. Paper Zambo, what's up, G? <laughs> Alright, I want you guys to help me with this riddle. What's you up, you beautiful, beautiful bastard? bastard? That is not helping. You look at me, I look back, your right hand raises, I my left. You speak, but I in vain. Dost thou know? Bring me the answer to my riddle and I shall let thee pass. <coughs> Alright, so... Something reflective. Something reflective. Alright, well let's look through our inventory and see what we got. And now the zombie's here, he can also pick doors for us if we come to crossroads. He gets the next one. Uh, yes, zombie. Uh, I did go demonic for a second. Uh, like we have a mirror. Since you, since you've been gone, I heavily upgraded my 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 mic audio. Heavily, as in three hundred and thirty-five dollars worth. I'm not mental or insane. Uh, he just, he like just doesn't know how to spend his money, right? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I did. I, I bought this, and it's it's fucking great. Plus, you know, also I can just scream in your ear, yeah. honey child, and I have a fucking great time. You too, James. It's great. No, I'm gonna stab your parents. Girl, don't, don't make me suck your dick. I hate you both. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna take the star on this uh, wall here. <laughs> I hate you both. Why? <laughs> no fucking. <laughs> I know, zombie. I got so quiet for no fucking good reason. I'm mad. Cody, we're just we're concerned. <laughs> Don't be concerned. I'm fine. I'm concerned for your mental health. <sighs> I'm concerned for my. health. Guys, my, you and uh, me men- both, men- actually. M- like, mental. Cool? M- like, are you good, James? Like, in all m- honesty? M- mental uh... mental health is not something to joke around. Uh, we, re- we already have one suicide about that. We don't want to talk about that suicide. Uh, side note, if you have uh, any mental illness or anything like that, please get that checked out. Uh, to answer Jordan's question, yes and no. It's yeah, a long... Kind of a... I like how no one... <sighs> Yeah, no, no, Cody, that was a good message. Um, I just no I one, no one asks me how I'm doing. 
Okay. Well, okay. You're not the one posting on Facebook about being like lonely and sad and shit. Like, are you? Uh, no, but James is. Oh, well, that's. And it gets true. to the point where it's kind of concerning, so I'm asking. Yeah, no, I'm a good friend. Yeah, yes and no. I, uh, it's not something I want to talk about. Yeah, fair enough. I mean. Anytime I ask you what's going on, you're like, no, nah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm like, okay, I'm fine with that. When was the last time you asked me? Uh, when did I ask you? Uh, I don't was, remember. It was like, I think a week ago I asked you. It was at least three years ago. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, no. I, I asked you about a week and a, a week. Okay, okay. I asked you about a week to a week and a half ago. Hey, James, how's it going? Uh, I'm all right. No, something's wrong. What's going on, bud? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, uh, and I left it. And I left it alone. And now well, here's and now here's Jordan. Hey, bud, you doing all right? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it on stream now. It's like I asked you how you were. I and you I will guys. Answer me. Cody, I will, I will discuss things. We will discuss after this things off stream. God. Uh, Cody, zombie. don't get offended. Uh, Fuck. My titties are triggered. Get some chai tea, bitch. <laughs> uh, zombie, uh, if you're still here, I'm gonna send you something on Discord. Oh my god. Okay, so I just shanked a uh, werewolf disguised as a beautiful woman. A beautiful oh, woman? Nice. Yes. A beautiful. And I'm gonna take this uh, curvy blade booty, booty, thing. Booty knocking everywhere. Right. Sorry. Continue. So. And it's sent, zombie. We've got some things. Hello, Mr. Sphinx, if that is your real name. Leon Sphinx. Uh, that Leon was... Sphinx. That Sphinx's name is now Leon. Leon. Leon Sphinx. Where's... But what words Leon where's Kennedy? Blade, though? Uh, I searched a zombie that was $200, and I got my new microphone, which is $100. I'm gonna use the star on this wyvern! Star becomes Leave a flash the... of light as you launch it. Leave Crash. the wyvern alone! He's just... He's just being cute! Look at him! What if it's yeah. a Rathalos and it's being kind of a dick? Bitch, it's an Azure Laf Rathalos! The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, that means it's... Stab him in the dick. Yeah, it's, it's an Azure... Fine. Dude, it's fine! It's fine! Dude, it's an Azure Rathalos. That makes it more of a dick. It's looking yeah. for Jordan because it stole its fucking eggs. Get the fucking flash bombs and stab him in the dick. You're just being and there won't be any more eggs right now. Look, all I'm saying is if we remove the penis, there will be no more eggs. Then it, then it's just a fucking Rathian. <laughs> eggs are stored in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> it can only lay two in its, it's, it's entire lifetime. Just... I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. It, it, oh my god. It... It can only lay two eggs in its entirety of its lifetime. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> uh, God, I, I immediately regret saying that. Okay, so, uh, uh, Jordan, I'm going to ask you a, a, a question here, which I asked James. And Well, first <laughs> off, James James didn't properly answer me, uh, but uh, Kuro did. He said stream it. Uh, you like Zelda, right? As in the person or the game? The I mean, game. She's, she's nice. She is. She Cause, is. Because the answer is yes to both. Okay. Uh, who's the weirdest character in the Zelda series, do you think? Cody. The weirdest? The answer's Cody. Yes. <laughs> the answer's me. Yes. No, that's not the answer. Uh, yeah. Uh, who do you think is the weirdest character? Uh, can I just lump a bunch of people together? Hold on. They're all technically the same. James, you're a cunt. My honestly, my other right. answer was gonna be the uh, Afro Elvis disco guy in Wind Waker. Nah, man, he's fucking great. Afro guy? Oh, he, yeah. He, yeah, the guy on Yay. uh Elsa. Yeah. No, nope, he's not. No, he's no, on Windfall Island. Windfall. Yeah. yeah, Windfall. That's what I meant. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. No, what is what? it? Uh, no, it was yeah. Yeah! Ow! Oh my god. 
But no, uh, where does character go? Uh, the entirety of Tingle's family in Windbreaker. Okay, 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 yeah. good, good. Because all a bunch of fucking fairies. Would you like me to stream a game called Ripened Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love? Oh god, or, Cody, or the no, DS. please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Do you want the emphasis of what this game is? I know what this game is, Cody, don't. <laughs> God no! Now hold on. D d now okay. D this is the sequel to the game, freshly picked Tingle's Rosie, Rupee Land. This I, is the I, sequel. I, I, I am aware of these games, Cody. Please. Do you do you do you want to know the the, the 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 simplified plot of this game? Sure. Question it's, mark. It's Wizard of Oz, and Tingle is Dorothy. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> All right, stream's over. We're done. <laughs> We're done. We've and, done it. We found the best and, game ever. And the whole plot is essentially Tingle's 35 years old, no love interest. The goal is to find Tingle a girlfriend. Yeah, you know what? We're just we're gonna rename the channel to that game, and it's gonna be nothing but that game from now on. Cody, all right. Cody, you uh, got this. I, I, it's all you, uh, bud. I got this. Okay, appreciate it, dude. This is what I've been wanting for. Cool. I have my. I just want to say. I, I, I just want to say I don't support this decision, but I will gladly stick around to see the fireworks. Uh, <laughs> the absolute so, train Okay, wreck. so I have seen two hours of this game. Oh, uh, no. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's actually really fucking funny. And there's a lot more tingle sounds, and it's actually funny. Uh, one of them is a, is a sound bite called Tinglegasm. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm the only, serious. the Shut only, the fuck up. The only <laughs> tingle sound. The only tingle sound. No, 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 Cody. 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 What's up? I will ban you from life. <laughs> you won't, pussy. I will get uh, a gun and I will ban you from life. The only tingle sounds I care about are ASMR videos, and those are very different tingles. Oh my fucking... Can you imagine Tingle doing ASMR? <laughs> no, oh, please no. <laughs> Cody, Cody, also, Cody, shut the also I just want to say, the game described this as a skeletal hand. It's a fucking fork. <laughs> Sir, this is a fork. No, it's a skeletal hand. No, it's a what? fork holding a stick. Excuse Sir, me, this a is wand. A fork. I'm taking the one. A... Goodbye, fork. All right. There you go. It is a fork holding a pencil. There we go. How? I don't fucking know. Well, they, clearly they stabbed the, the pencil with the fork. Uh, but no, seriously, I, I actually will try to find the translated uh, ROM for it, so I can actually stream this. <laughs> so, Cody, do you remember the bridges? The bridges? Yes, I do. One was fucked up and instantly killed you. Yep, and we are going to deal with those now. Save first, and then we're going to deal with them. So on Etsy, I can get this for thirty dollars. Get what? It is <laughs> ripe and tingles balloon trip of love. Please, it. I might actually, because this game's actually really fucking funny. Oh no, it's a giant snake. Oh, <gasps> it's giant a snake. snake. It's an urgent snack. Basil, if you could kindly fuck right off while I'm trying to hunt things, that'd be great. No, he wants a hug. We're gonna use the I wand. Want... Oh, oh god. god, what if they have a fucking subspecies of it? Oh, what, Basil? Of an urgent snake? snake? If anything, they're gonna have a variant, like, uh, like Devil Show, a savage. Oh, for fuck's sake. They already have that! They have the fucking Ebony Odogaron. That, that's a subspecies, Cody, not a variant. Alright, we're gonna use this wand on the snake. Wingardium Leviosa! The snake begins to shake and shudder. Is it just your eyes or is it shrinking? Oh, what a and that, you was, that was acceptable. Thank you. Alright, the urgent snake is now an urgent staff. Uh, zombie, did you get the picture, by the way? What did I sent you? It's not nudes of Cody, is it? No. Hey, Jordan, you, you, Jordan uh, you haven't seen the mixer, have you? What, uh, your actual, like, soundboard? Yeah. 
I've seen it. Have you? Yeah. When? There was a point where you just sent it to <coughs> the group chat or something, and I was like, oh, hey, cool. I don't remember yeah. that. Yeah, I think you did post pictures of it. Oh, did I? Okay. I don't remember I did or not, but okay. But I, I will say the mic quality is so much better. Who's mic? It is now. At, at first, you were like, how the fuck do I do this? And you just put gain to a billion. <laughs> I did. Okay. Right now, it's at... Plus 12? You're a plus 12. Alright, so we already know. Oh, I know I'm plus, plus 12. 12. So, zombie. Plus zombie, it's your turn to uh, pick a path. Do we want to go on the, in the left door or the right door? Wait, did you just entirely skip me? You said it was Zombie's turn next. He hasn't picked the doorway yet. Oh, okay. Well, I, I said it was Zombie's turn next. Yeah, he, I didn't say shit about Zombie's turn. Okay, I remember somebody did, but I could Yeah, Cody's remember. like, Zombie doesn't get a turn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Paper Zombie, I hate that guy. He didn't fucking get to pick shit. No, Zombie, I it is your turn. I never said that, you fucking twat. <laughs> <laughs> what Thank the fuck God. is wrong with you? Oh, what <laughs> what is it? The point. What is it wrong with me? Uh, your trick dad. question. Everything's wrong with me. No, you're a, you're a good person. So shut the fuck up. I mean, I'm trying. Uh, James, well, you are a good person. Everyone loves you, and you are a soul. I almost said soulless. You are a good person. Wow, <laughs> I am not a ginger, Cody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, That's I, I take I take offense to that. Uh, my girlfriend is a soulless monster. No, she's not. <laughs> uh, zombie. Well, we need to actually go through she both doors. Me. So it's just whichever one you're picking, whichever one we're going through first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's gonna stab you, all right, with your with her fucking dong. That one oh. places. Hope you like futas. Yes, please. <laughs> Cody, you do not know the bounds of my degeneracy. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. Do I? You're over here I... like, oh, you, uh oh, food. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. All right, we got a little statue in our way. Let's cast a spell. I punch oh, the statue. I punch the initiative. All right, stalagmites surround this room like the cavernous jaws of a huge beast. Okay. My siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's that one, and that one. Yay, the thing opened. Squee! Hey, it's that sound that Kefka makes all the time in Discord. <laughs> the cylinder lifts with a shuddering sound. You're momentarily dazzled as the darkness is lit by a blinding flash. The silver orb is revealed. Take that shit! Take it! The orb Take it, mad. you fucking bit! What? 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 Is your favorite color? Blue. No, yeah. Ah! Schmeagle wants this the penises. <laughs> <laughs> well, we clearly I'm have what? two different movies going on here. Yeah, something like that. God damn it, what the fuck does the dog want? I'll be back in a sec. The dog wants a belly rub, you fucking. The dog wants a bow. What? Uh, 
pen is running at me, so that's nice. Updating my Miz app. Your Miz app? Yeah, it's an app for Mizzes. Oh, oh okay. Also, Oops. a really stupid way of saying map. <laughs> it is. Okay, let's say our final magic word. Illumina! Suddenly the cavern is so bright that you have to shade your eyes. Swag so bright you gotta wear shades. It takes you a few moments to regain your senses from the noble burst. It seems the gargoyles were also affected and haven't yet recovered from the spell. Off topic, uh, Kuro, I'm not buying Jess a strap on. I have Jordan a strap on. No, he has two dons? Yes. Okay. Dons? Or, or you just wear it on his head and be a, a, a unicorn. <laughs> Are we talking about forehead dildos? Yes. Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Excuse you, I don't I don't recall inviting you in here, Francis. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Francis, what the fuck? What do you want, you sausage with legs? <laughs> Quit being mean to the dog. Dude, he's fucking fat. Don't Don't be Don't no, tell me no. not to fat don't tell me to not fat shame my dog. He's fat. Shut up. Don't be mean to the fucking dog. But he's fat. <laughs> leave the f leave the goddamn dog alone. Stop being mean to him when he stops being fucking fat. <laughs> you quit being mean to him. There come here, you little shit. Into the well. Yes, I can. I can totally do that. <clears throat> the swirling winds carry you down in the deep well and set you gently into the cavern below. You stand above a beach, looking down upon a river. <laughs> I love that zombie. In the background, we just hear the dog say, No, dude, I'm fat. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm fat. Don't worry about it. Yeah, he understands that he's a little sausage. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. <laughs> no, he does <laughs> He totally he's, understands that he's... He's not little, sitting on his ass shit. looking at a... Jordan, he's not sitting on his butt looking at a mirror going, Man, I'm fucking fat as shit. No, he's sitting on the fucking couch thinking that he's fat as shit because he can't <laughs> fucking run. That may also be attributed to his tiny ass fucking legs. Don't be mean to the dog. I'm being mean to my dog because he, he doesn't understand no. English. <laughs> you never know. You could. Dude, I'm pretty sure my dog doesn't understand fucking English. <laughs> Are you positive on that, though? I'm pretty fucking sure, Cody, yeah. Alright, whatever you say, man. I'm gonna wait for the day he bites your fucking balls off. I mean, he's literally just laying in my lap right now, not giving a fuck. Because, <laughs> you know, he's fat. Quit being mean to the fucking dog. Dude, he doesn't care. He's on my lap. Like, he does he care. About. You're just being a fucking slut. I am not acknowledging him in any way, shape, or form. He is, he is unaware that I'm even talking about See, him. See, you right now are being a fucking bitch! Dude, it's a dog. It doesn't matter if it's a fucking dog! It kinda does. You're being a bitch! 
Dude, if I was saying this, like, about a child, I would understand how I'm being a dick, but it's a dog. <laughs> That'd be funny if it was a child. It's a fucking dog. Like, man, you're fucking fat, kid. <laughs> Sorry, Dude, you he's, he's, fucking he's a fucking... Too. He's a wire hair dachshund, like... He literally looks yeah, like a sausage because he's slightly dachshund. overweight. It's, like, it's the little, like, red-haired ones. Jesus Christ, that looks disgusting. What? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're looking at. That looks so Doxa. gross. Do you guys want to see skull lasers? Skull lasers? Fuck yeah! All right. Sounds like the fucking coolest band. Your dog is a furry baby. Alright, here we go. Skull I mean, lasers! Yeah. You have placed the bladed sun in the wrong hole. You did not heed the warnings, the doing? and now the Warlock Lord's defenses end your life. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Kinda sucks that you just died. Right. To fucking lasers, dude. Skull lasers. The fucking metal is laser fuck. beams, man. Alright, so let's put the talisman in the correct hole where the sword is hung. Hey Jordan, what? Preference? Do you want do, do you want a fairy that's white and green, or a fairy that is yellow and purple? Probably white and green. White and green. Okay, great choice. Yeah. Suddenly, you hear the sound of grinding rock. The jaw of the skull begins to descend. Hot wind erupts from the mouth, creating the illusion that the stone skull is alive. All right, we are at the end. Here we go, bitches. Wait, where are you done? It, this is not a long game. What the fuck, yeah. dude? Like, if I was, if I didn't take the time to make notes in a map, I would have finished this like a long time ago. On what shade of green? Uh, it, it it's like a a teal kind of green. Oh my god, it's a uh, penis with wings and teeth. <laughs> Are we I mean, persona? seriously, has, look at this fucking thing. It has cum coming out of its mouth. Well, farewell monetization. We hardly knew <laughs> you. <laughs> we don't know what that matter is. Of yeah, as a matter of fact, we don't know you. Exactly, yeah. because uh, my filthy mouth. So, okay. So, I've got the staff put together to defeat the final evil. Um, Who do I use it on? The penis monster or the warlock? Well, uh, you... Why would you not line. use it on the penis monster? Okay, that's one vote. <laughs> Alright, zombie's back. Zombie, oh, do we... Christ, Cody. Zombie, do we want to blast the Warlock Lord or the uh, Behemoth? What's, what's your vote, sir? I don't think Will's here, so Zombie's going to be the tiebreaker. Nope. He ought to hear. And that was perfect timing with the monetization comment. Mm-hmm. But no, actually what happened was OBS disconnected for some reason. Yep. Uh, I hope that didn't screw up the recording too. Did, nah, what uh, all all it'll do, James, is when it cuts off, it'll end the recording. Well, I know which one to hit. I'm asking for you guys to pick, zombie. So, hit the fucking warlord. Hit so, that motherfucker. He looks like a black mage. No one likes black mages. Wow, racist. <laughs> That's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was fucking stupid. You fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Penis monster it is. You pray as you raise the staff of ages that it has the power the prophets claim. The staff pulsates with power 
and a beam of light explodes from it, striking the behemoth. Ah, my penis-like body, no! Okay, bye! Okay, bye. I'm just gonna grab this guy and we're gonna go eat pizza rolls and watch TV. Quick, grab the Master Ball! The creature screams in agony, thrashing back and forth in great pain. In his rage, he grabs the Warlock Lord and descends into the depths forever. You can hear the Warlock Lord's screams fade into silence. Suddenly, it is very quiet. Which is often what happens when things fade into silence. Mm -hmm. A beautiful light seems to fill the cavern. The morning sun! You say to yourself, it is over. I, I'm big the cat. Froggy? Although Where exhausted, are you, Froggy? Up your boy. Although exhausted, <laughs> you lean on the Staff of Ages and begin your long journey home. Word of your historic quest has already reached the farthest parts of the land. You are triumphantly greeted as you enter the gates of the royal city of Stormhaven. Moments later, you are ushered into the royal palace, where you are greeted by the king. I know what thou hast done, brave one. The world would be dark forever without thee. And he just kind of sits here until the game decides to catch up on the ending. Like that's one thing they did not fix from the NES version. You are bestowed a kingdom to rule in the king's fair daughter's hand. Because, you know, women are property. Yes. Totally. I mean, what? As you leave the throne room, you know, without her, you know that although this quest is over, others await. After all, the bards will need new legends to sing of and new tales to tell. The first story's end. I believe there were... Two sequels to this game. Are they there good? was uh, I don't know, because I know there was Beyond Shadowgate and then there was Shadowgate '64, and I never played either one of them. But I know Shadowgate '64 like completely changed the format of it. Oh, excuse me. But uh, yeah, so that was Shadowgate. I got my maps. I got some vague notes for what I needed. Jordan actually knows what this is. Um, but I don't know if I'm ever going to run this for you guys or not. So I want to Just it fucking ruin secret. it. Well, I also didn't know who else was watching. But I doubt anybody from my other D&D groups are watching. So basically I'm making a D&D &D module based on Shadow. Oh, yeah, you were talking a bit about that. Yes. And as Cody saw early on in this game, there's a lot of fuck you instant death traps. My players are either going to hate me or uh, really hate me. Depending on how clever they are. Oh my god, I'm going to fucking kill this goddamn gunbreaker! I, I almost want to. So, but yeah, that was Shadowgate. Um, that stream actually went a lot longer than I was expecting it to, so uh, I think I'm done for the night. I don't know if Cody or Jordan want to stream anything. Uh, but nope. I, I'm going off I right now. Me. All right, so no streams tonight. Um, Zombie, are you streaming tomorrow? That leaves an open slot tomorrow for whoever wants to do something. Um, More than likely me. All right. Well, until then, I have been Crow. 
I have Arlen. been Wow. Arlen. <laughs> I mean, that works. I'm sorry. I'm dealing with something very uh, stressful. <laughs> 